are in the car. I'm showered. Um, no makeup. Couple minor breakouts. Um, threw some clothes on. And we are going to put on this lip gloss. And... How annoying. And I have to put gas in my car. And we're also going to... Let me just do this really quickly. Um, I have to get groceries. When I go grocery shopping, I literally go grocery shopping for the boys. Like, I never... I pick up, like, some snacks for me, but I'm not picking up, like, foods. Like, so that I can make myself, like, actual proper breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's always just, um... What's the, it starts with a C. What's the word? Not contouring. Catering to the boys, you know? That's kind of what my whole entire life is. Um, but I can't just, like, snack all day. And I don't have the boys today. So I'm like, just get in the shower, get dressed, and let's go. I've been having, like, I don't, I don't know if I'm depressed or what. But, like, if I don't have the boys or if I just, like, have crew. Because Oliver is, like, in daycare or, like at my parents house whatever the case is i always tell myself oh, i'm gonna get dressed and like go and run errands and get out of the house and like you know do things that i need to do but then like i don't but i'm like am i depressed i'm definitely not being lazy you can't be a single mother and be lazy at the same time that's just my opinion um but yeah there's just like always a lot going on um in terms of the boys so I don't know am I depressed I don't know I will say that like depression looks different for me since Ricardo passed away Ricardo if you're new here is my husband he is a firefighter I don't say was sometimes I do sometimes I don't today I'm not saying that but he's a firefighter he died in the line of duty of May 2021 I was six months pregnant and we were two weeks away from our oldest son's first birthday i have two boys anyways um but yeah depression looks different for me since being like a single mother and well um so it's kind of like harder for me to recognize which is annoying but anyways yeah let's go get gas and get going <laughs> all right i just pulled into the parking lot um i'm at a trader joe's one of the trader joe's by my house i forget there's like a little bakery next door because i don't come here too often so i think i might go there after i have grief brain sorry i have grief brain and I easily forget things. It's hard for me to like retain things. I don't know. I think this could like last forever. I don't know, but it's terrible. And just imagine like back to back pregnancies, right? And like pregnancy brain is a very real thing. So I had back to back pregnancies. My sons are 15, 15 months apart. Um, and my brain definitely didn't recover. And I don't even think that your brain is the same after having kids, honestly. Um, but like grief pain is very real so i'm gonna go into trader joe's um there's been like a lot of stuff about like food recalls 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 um but i think like obviously that's like a little scary to think about but i think it does happen um and i saw somewhere i don't know it's just anyways i'm not really concerned about it like we'll see hopefully i have no issues but i'm really hungry and i wonder if this bakery has anything good anyways let's go Oh my 
gosh, that's the worst. I haven't had that happen in so long. My freaking pinky feels numb. Oh my God, freaking hurt. Anyways, I was gonna complain, but maybe God's like, check your privilege, girl. Um, I hate when I get a chai and it's just not hitting. I feel like chais are pretty easy to make, right? But this just tastes like watery and not that great. I might have to stop at Starbucks. I was gonna order a breakfast sandwich, but then I was like, no, I don't know what to order. One, so members save up to 10 I just got this chai, which had so much ice, but it's like actually melting. Um, so I was gonna order a breakfast sandwich, but then I was like, oh no, I'll just get a chai. So she goes to take my order, and I was like, oh, I'll just have like an, a small iced chai latte. And she was like, that's all. And then I feel bad because like, this is like a local business. Yeah. Um, and you know, like support. And then I was like, okay, like I'll have a breakfast sandwich. And then I just ordered something that wasn't on the menu. Um, but they were able to make it for me, which is really nice. And I'm really not that hungry. Um, but I definitely like need to eat. So yeah, I'm just going to force myself. But also this chai is not, damn, this is hot. This is going to have to wait until I get home. But, um, I think I'm gonna have to stop at Starbucks to get a refresher because this is not, this is like not it for me. Um, someone was watching me. Not that I care, cause I don't. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but I really don't. Anyways, um, she's also very close to my car, so maybe she, that's why she was watching me. Don't know. Anyways, um, I have my groceries in the car. Well, I have enough time. Yeah, I feel like I'll have enough time. I'm gonna blast the AC. Um, then we're gonna go home. My mom said she's sleeping over, which I'm like, okay. Like, I get lonely, so I'm more than happy for my mom to sleep over my house. Um, mom's gonna sleep over, so I'm gonna clean up a little bit. And let's go home. Probably gonna stop at Starbucks because I'm kind of craving a refresher, even though I'm really trying not to spend so much money. Like, at Starbucks every day with two Lux babies, like, and when I say babies, I have toddlers, but I call them my babies. I don't need anyone correcting me. Um, you know, they also love Starbucks and I appreciate their taste, but it's expensive, you guys. Like, it's expensive. Um, there are two locations by my house. One of them is still closed. It's been closed since June. And it looks from the outside, it looks done. They've changed the parking lot. Maybe I'll um, drive by and see if there's like an opening date, but it's so freaking annoying. I just want them to be open. Um, and then another one close by my house finally reopened. It was closed in June. Thankfully, they got their shit together. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know what's going on. Well, no, I do. They're remodeling. Hey, are you kidding me? Let me, what's wrong with me? There's one down the street. All right, I'm gonna give it, it's literally like right down the road. It's a five minute drive. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm gonna hang out here in just a little bit. I have the AC going on in the back. Um, so it'll hopefully keep my grocery school. Um, you guys, life is just like, it's good, it's bad, it's stressful. It's a blessing, I'm grateful, and then it's like overwhelming, right? Um, but Oliver got bit by a tick, or two ticks, I don't know. Um, do ticks fly? Like, I don't know too much about ticks. Are you gonna hit my car? <gasps> oh, are you gonna hit this lady's car? Oh my God, that's so close. Jesus, holy gosh, that was so close. Um, anyways, um, Oliver, I thought originally it looked like a mosquito bite, okay? Um, and then a couple days later, as he was getting out of the shower, it looked like a little rash was forming around the mosquito bite. It actually looked like a bullseye rash, and I'm just holy, uh, I'm just like, oh my gosh, holy cow, this looks like Lyme disease, which is, you know, terrifying. You know, my son is three years old, a brand new three year old, and I'm don't want him to have any ailments. I want him to be healthy. I want him to enjoy his life, which I know every parent wants for their child. And anytime your child is sick or going through something um, health-wise um, or anything just like bad, like you just wish you like you just wish that you could take place of your kid. You know, you never want anything bad happening to your kid, but especially Oliver, he's three. 
um, I want him to be healthy and strong and like enjoy his life and I don't want anything holding him back so that was very stressful he had to be on antibiotics um, but it looks like everything is okay we spoke to his doctor this was earlier this month but it was just such a stressful thing to go through especially as a single mother because even though I have like the support of my parents and my in-laws and you know everybody else it's not the same kind of support that comes with having a partner you know it kind of they the burden is like shared in like the same way you know and like my relationship with Ricardo I'm adjusting to I'm adjusting still right it's been two years and some odd months and I'm still adjusting to my role as a parent where like everything is just like all on me you know it's very overwhelming and stressful with Ricardo he naturally was a very like reactive person so if something went wrong whether it was an accident whether it was on purpose it doesn't matter what happened or whose fault it was even if it was his own fault he would be very reactive and i basically like my role was to like calm him down and put things into perspective and come up with a solution and that was difficult for me because i'm like i want to freak out sometimes like i want to be the one that has a freaking meltdown about something you know i don't always want to have to be the strong one trying to put things into perspective and you know but anyways so now it's like something happens to the boys and it's just so overwhelming for me and it's just it's completely different and it can be very difficult and two years in it's really one of the hardest adjustments and one of the things that I will never ever ever take for granted um, I think that you're so incredibly lucky if you have someone um, that you're going through life with um, that experiences the ups and the downs with you and there have been so many over the last two years you know just being a human being everybody has stuff going on but the loss of my grandpa and uh, my uncle it would have been nice to have someone but anyways um, life the last two years have really put things into perspective for me and there are things that I didn't really think twice about that I will never ever take for granted and I think that if you have someone in your life that you love um, you're just you're lucky um, so there's that crew my short king my crew bear Oliver is um, estimated to be like six feet when he's 16 okay my genetics not Ricardo's not Ricardo's um, anger issues definitely Ricardo's but crew so back in February he had like a, he had an appointment physical and he was you guys in the 19th percentile for height so that can't like I'm gonna have a short king like that's devastating not really because crew's so cute and don't take everything that I'm saying like so literally like relax take a Xanax chill out um, but we went to his appointment yesterday he is in the 47th percentile he uh, grew two and a half inches which is awesome he's in the 67th percentile for like weight which like he has his father's appetite so like no surprise there him and Oliver you guys like these kids like they eat and eat and eat and like what a blessing right was I supposed to go the other way they are I have healthy boys um, and I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed but they can eat you guys like do you know why I'm skinny is because literally I'll be eating something and these skanks don't come at me for calling my son skanks like it's words of endearment um, they will literally like take food out of my hand first of all terrible manners who's raising you and don't do that not cute but if I'm eating something they want it and like as a parent like I'm not gonna tell my kids no you just freaking had five pizzas dessert and like 80 lunchables you can't have this no if they're hungry like I'm gonna feed them um, but it's a lot you guys like it's a lot um, but yeah I'm blessed is this guy blocking my way I'm blessed I'm grateful um, I love my Puccinis. Is it through or no? She's just blocking the way, I guess. I don't know. 
Yeah, she's just walking because I have no fucking clue what she's doing. This is like weird. I love going to a Starbucks where the majority of the cars are Mercedes. Um, is that a Porsche? I don't know. I feel like I'm where I belong. But that's kind of a life update. Um, still single. I go back and forth between being in a place where I'm like, yeah, I'm open, and then I can, no, I'm just gonna be single forever. Like, I literally have, like, days where I am just like, I can, like, there's no way, like, how can I date someone? Like, it's just not possible. I'm gonna be single forever, which, mm, like, 50% makes me, like, sad to think about. Um, I don't know, but I go back and forth, and it's like, do I want to? Like, because I, I definitely don't need a man. I don't need to get married again. Um, but I don't know. It's just, this is so, I don't know. What are the chances that this is going to be good now? Nope. Gross. Um, this is like the most awkward drive through Holy smokes. This is like so awkward. Um, but dating, I just go back and forth. Like, I do think that I am ready, but do I necessarily, like, am I going to say that I'm looking, like, for a husband? Am I looking for something serious? Like, I don't think so. But, of course, like, if I met someone, thank you. Have a good one. Um, if things were to evolve and, like, that's the direction it goes, like, you know, I'm not going to fight it. Um... I don't know what the future holds, and but I do know that what's meant for me will never pass me, and like I trust that um, God, when it's you know time, God has like a really great man for me and the boys. Did I just go the wrong way? I don't I don't understand. Um, yeah, I just trust that God has like a great man. Uh, for me and my sons um, and so I'm not worried about it I think being single is fun um, I don't have to worry about anybody I don't have someone coming into my life and like raising hell or any of that um, I don't have to deal with anyone like lying or like cheating which is a blessing um, stay blessed girl so yeah i'm just enjoying life and i'm crying and i'm grieving and do i think about the future a lot absolutely um but i just have no control over everything anything um except for like myself obviously but i just trust in god and like hello it's god but i'm going home now and I hate these roundabout things. Like, I just hate them. Um, I'm going home now. Hopefully my groceries aren't spoiled. Um, 14 minutes. Jeez Louise. Anyways, cheers. See you guys at home. Trader Joe's is like actually a one-stop shop for people because it never is for me. Anyways, I got flowers. One for me and one for my mom. Um, she's actually sleeping over, so perfect. I'm just gonna leave this in the guest room for her. But I love having, I used to hate flowers, you guys. I used to hate flowers. And then Ricardo would like still buy me flowers and like I love it. Like I just feel like it's just such a nice, touch for like the house you know this is annoying me where can i put this mm. let's see if i can get this okay i feel like that's a little better yeah totally all right let's see what i got 
was to like buy more stuff like groceries for myself because every time I go food shopping it's like for the boys you know um what did I get I've never tried this before but I love garlic this is like a garlic pasta uh, Italian pasta and a creamy umami I don't know what that is garlic sauce love it um some eggs I stopped eating eggs for a while especially like after I got COVID it just eggs were like disgusting um but I've been like eating them again and they don't taste as bad as they used to post COVID and I got COVID in 2020 um uh, crew loves cheese so I got him some Colby Jack Kobe, Kobe cheese and Monterey Jack cheese. He loves it. I got the Pooch's bananas because they love bananas. Again, I'm shopping. I'm supposed to be shopping for myself, but for the boys. Got apples. Oliver loves apples. I got broccoli, which I'll maybe make tonight. Um, pasta. This is one of my favorite pastas from Trader Joe's. And then I got this pesto chicken breast, boneless and skinless, to make tonight. I have this fear about cooking chicken, you guys. I don't, why do I keep scratching myself? I have this fear about cooking chicken. So like anytime I try to cook chicken and I can't, I'm not cooking a thick chicken breast. Like I'm not cooking it. Like that's just out of the question. It will never, I will never be able to cook a thick chicken breast correctly. I, if I'm cooking chicken, it'll be like chicken tenders. Um, cause there's like a specific meal that I make with them or like a thin chicken breast. But even then you guys, like I can't cook chicken right. It's always overcooked and dry. But I also have like this fear of like serving my kids food and then I'm getting food poisoning. Like I'm not trying to do that. Cookies for myself. I love shortbread. This looked delicious. I got my mom cinnamon coffee cake, gluten free. My mom has celiac. Just a thoughtful little thing. It's a... And then this I saw someone post about, probably on TikTok, but it's the drizzled granola. Should I do a taste test right now? Cinnamon roll inspired baked oat clusters with a sweet yogurt flavored drizzle. Let's taste this. It smells like cinnamon. It smells delicious. Oh my God, this smells good. There's no nuts in here, right? Ow! Damn. These are good. Damn dog. Guys, these are good. Watermelon for the boys. And then spicy mango lemonade. All right. Oh. My breakfast sandwich. Are you kidding me? All right. It was nice catching up. I'm gonna put the groceries away. I'm gonna eat my breakfast sandwich. I'll talk to you later.